What's up? How's everybody doing today? What we're going to be working on today is a 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar. Yeah. And I'm in a little bit of a hurry to get started, so I'm just going to run through the uh, the spiel here real quick. If you guys have never seen me before, I'm Coin Ring Maker from CoinRingMaker.com. You can take a screenshot of that. That's my website. We've got an, an October clearance sale going on all October long. A lot of my jewelry is 50% off. You can find that by going to my website, the link on my profile, or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. And... Uh, we're going to make this into a ring. So if you want to hang out and watch, sounds good to me. First thing we got to do is punch a hole in it. Uh, if at any time during this live you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. And uh, if you're enjoying the live so far, make sure to tap the screen. All right, let's punch a hole in this. Y'all hit that follow button too. Let's go. Z J D E F O E drop the follow. I know I'm gonna try and pronounce that. I'll just spell it. Really cool center punch on this one. I like that bunch. I'll make this into a size 10 and a half today. Thanks for the follow, Isaac and uh, Tor. Thank you guys very much. Got big Chronos dropping a follow. Tef Teflon. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, 43. All right. We got a punch. Now I got to clean up the inside edge. You can see right here, it's uh, it's pretty sharp. We're going to smooth that out real quick. For that, we use a deburring tool, which you got right here. And again, y'all tap the screen, please. Send some likes my way. We almost got 300. That's pretty dang good. And uh, check out the 50% off clearance sale. Link is in my profile. Look at all that fun little silver right there. Nice. 600 likes. 700 likes almost. Let's go. Y'all tapping like crazy today. I appreciate it. Thank you for the follow, Tabby Cat. And user 6330600544006. It's a motto. Thank you for following. Hello, hello. Good morning. Welcome to the live. Hope y'all are all having a great day. It's a little chilly here. I'm wearing a hoodie. Say so fall is coming. Thank you for the follow, Deb. That's cool. I'm in Texas, and... uh we're making this 90% silver. You can see on the inside how silver it is. 90% silver, Kennedy half dollar into a ring. That's kind of what I do. Uh, if you'd like to get yourself one, you can go to coinringmaker.com or the link on my profile, or there's a little gold chain at the bottom of the screen. If you guys can see that, that'll pull up some of my products as well. A whole bunch of stuff is 50% off all October long. So if you're not sure of your ring size or you want to shop around for a minute, you've got until the end of October. 
to take advantage of that sale. There we go. Used a pin, knife, and a spoon. Very cool. Yeah, I used some different tools, that's for sure. No spoons here. There we go. We're going to go ahead and anneal this real quick. Two thousand likes on this live. Thank you guys very much for tapping the screen. I do appreciate it. it let's TikTok know I'm doing a good job. I know this isn't the average TikTok live, but I do appreciate y'all hanging out and watching me work. And again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for the follow, Jersey girl. So the reason I heat it up is uh, it makes the coin less brittle, softens it up a little bit, and it makes this next, next part a lot easier. I really like this gold that shows up on 90% silver when you uh, kneel it, but it never lasts for very long. Thanks for following, Ben. Do I have to get you on the Coin. No, I have quite a few coins uh, in stock that I can quickly grab, and those are all inventoried on my website. whole bunch of stuff to choose from there. I can do quarters, dollars, half dollars, which is what we're working on right now, as well as uh, silver and copper rounds. So there's a whole bunch to check out. The link is on my profile. All right, so now we need... This, this is called a doming block. It's got a bunch of like half hemispheric circles cut into it. And it's really good for the first fold on a coin ring. So we're just gonna pop that in there, make it as level as we can. Uh, do I do any Mexican coins? Currently the only Mexican coin I have in stock is uh, fine silver Libertads. They're one ounce silver coins, and I've got them from 1983, 84, and 85. I, don't, I just don't have a whole lot of other uh, Mexican coins. But if you have one you'd like me to work on, I do have a button on my profile that says get a quote. Uh, just go tap on that, tell me about the coin you want me to work on, and the ring size you need, and uh, we can get something going from there. Give it another fold. We'll get in real close for you guys. And y'all keep tapping the screen. We got 3,100 likes. Let's go. And a little bit more annealing. 64. That's a good year right there. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. I'm just kind of running through this one pretty quick. Uh, send you a Cuban silver dollar cost to make it into a coin ring. Um, I would need to know a little bit more about the coin. Uh, basically how big it is. So, uh, like quarter size coins, uh, when they're silver, are uh, $100. Uh, half dollars like this are 150 and then bigger stuff like uh, Morgan dollars, like this, are 200. And anything bigger than that, like one ounce rounds, they go up to 300. So it really depends on the size of the coin and the uh, metal it's made out of. But like I said, you can go hit that uh, get a quote button, tell me a bit about your coin and the ring size you need, and I can get back to you on a quote. So since we bent this quite a bit, it's been work hardened, so that's why I'm re-annealing it. I want to make sure it stays nice and soft, because we got more work to do to it. There we go, we got 3,600 likes on the live. Thank you guys very much for tapping the screen. 
If you want to shout out, hit that follow button. I'll try and shout out everybody who follows. And uh, if you guys want to get yourself a coin made into a ring by me, link is on my profile. Or you can tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. I uh, saw so one of your rings had Pennsylvania on it. That's my home state. How did I get those? Uh, from, I believe it's uh, 1999 to 2008. They did uh, all the state quarters. So for uh, each year, they did five different state quarters. And I've got one over here. So this is an example. This is a California quarter. They only made these in 2005, but... I've got these in copper and 90% silver, and they are both 50% off all October long. So if you'd like to get you one, uh, that's the way to go. So the Cuban coin is about the size and weight of a Morgan, so that'd be about 200. And then I would need uh, four uh, for shipping back to you. So it'd be $204 if that's something you'd like to do. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you a follow. If you follow me back, we can message about that after this live. Thanks for following Meg, Meg on, B1, Corey Peters, and uh, Diane Wiggins. Thank you very much. Do I have Pennsylvania? Yes, I do. I have Pennsylvania in copper and 90% silver. I think. I definitely should. Definitely in copper. I've got one over here I can show you. Yeah, there's the uh, the Pennsylvania quarter. It's pretty cool. Question: uh, Do you make rings with the punch piece on top, like old school rings? I don't. Uh, it's something I've thought about attempting, but at this point, I'm not the best solderer. Uh, especially with, with fine metals, like precious metals, I need to, uh, I need to do some more practice before I add that to my repertoire. I've done a little bit of practice, but not a whole lot. Sounds good. Go get you one. Link is in my profile. Oh, we're going to make sure we have a, a little gap underneath here. See, if this gap isn't here, this cone bottoms out right about there. And that's not far enough, so we're going to have that hole. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Thanks for following. Oh, man, you guys have the weirdest names. Uh... Boron Zaray six seven three. Thanks for the follow. I just can't read. That's the problem. Either way, we got four thousand likes on this live. Thank you guys very much for tapping the screen. If you can continue to do so, I would very much appreciate it. So now that we've got our two folds done on this, I want to sand this cut edge, but it does look like it's got a little wobble in it. So I'm going to try and flatten that out real quick. Thanks for following, Talon. And uh, probably couldn't hurt to anneal it again. So we'll anneal it and then we'll sand it. Thanks for following the Hangry Starfish. See, there's a username I can get behind. That's a good one. Well done. 4,400 likes on this live. Thank you guys very much. Need to poop. Woof, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good username. Thank you for the follow, Need to Poop. You know... I think we all need to poop sometimes. Lee Cope 2, thank you for following. 
here is our ring so far. It's looking pretty good. All right, we're gonna sand on this for just a second. <coughs> if you guys wanna follow, or <laughs> if you guys wanna shout out, go ahead and give me a follow. I'll shout you out. And uh, if you want a coin ring, website is linked on my profile. You can also tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. A whole bunch of my stuff is 50% off all October long. Got state quarters, uh, silver quarters, copper quarters. You can pick the year. You can pick the state. I have uh, quite a variety of half dollars as well. Franklin half dollars, Walking Liberty half dollars, Kennedy half dollars, uh, Morgan dollars, Peace dollars, American Silver Eagles, all kinds of silver rounds with different designs. I'm sure you'll find something you like if you just bebop on the website for a little bit. And if that's not something you want to do right now, but you think you might want to do it later, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll take a five second screenshot break. I'll just take a screenshot of this real quick so you can find my website when you need to. What's the turnaround on rings? I usually fill orders uh, within one to two days and my shipping time is like three to five in the United States. So you'll get it within a week, pretty quick. Thank you for the follow, Angel. I do appreciate it. I'm going to sand this just a little bit more. It's not quite as smooth as I want it to be. If you guys want a shout out, uh, hit the follow button. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind just tapping the screen, we got 4,500 likes on this live and 500 people watching. Y'all just start tapping the screen right now. All of you. What are you doing? Thanks for the follow, user 68513163565753. Uh, can I do a 1970 gold dollar? Unfortunately, in the 80s and the 70s, there's just not a whole lot of silver coins to pick from. And I've definitely never seen one from the 1970s. The closest I can do to that is a uh, 64. Thanks for following John Hill and Hoon289, Italian Mo Boss. Thanks for the follows, guys. All right. So now we get to stretch it. So I got to set my camera up just a little different here. Got to prop it up on the doming block. And here is our ring stretcher. So what I'm doing is I'm making this 1964 Kennedy half dollar into a ring. This one's going to my wife's aunt. It's her birthday today. So she asked me to make a ring as a gift for her. So that's what I'm doing. This paper towel here is uh, to make sure that we don't have metal on metal contact uh, that'll help keep the details on the inside of the ring and we really don't have to stretch this out super crazy thank you for the follow rds wood turnins steven and uh, user 86226161 Seven seven zero five zero. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. We got five thousand three hundred likes on this live. Made a nineteen seventy one silver quarter. I'm not sure about that. I really haven't seen any uh, silver coins from the seventies that aren't like uh, Olympic commemorative coins. And I've looked at a lot of coins. Thank you for following user Crazy Papa and uh, Frankus Xavier's. Thank you very much for following, guys. All right, so now we get to do something fun. I'm gonna wrap this in tape, but just like with the paper towel to protect the inside detail, which still looks very nice. We're gonna use this blue monster tape to protect the outside. Wrap up. I don't think we need to tape this thick. 
try the thinner tape. Yeah. Surge Bega eighty eight uh four three. Thank you for the follow. You guys all have numbers in your names. I don't have any numbers in my name. No numbers in my username. No, sir. How much is it? You can order through my website, coinringmaker.com, or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. There's also like a little shopping bag on my TikTok profile. You can shop through there too, or just go straight to buycoinrings.com, and you can order through there. Uh, I don't do stuff straight through Cash App, mostly for tax purposes. Um, I, I have to have a paper trail or I'll just totally lose track. So, if you'd like to get you on, a whole bunch of them are 50% off all October long. So now is a really good time to get a coin ring from me. And like I said, you can just order through the link in my profile. Needs to poop. I don't know. I see three numbers in yours. I see three numbers. Thank you for the follow, Sage Wise One. Ooh, nice username. That's that's pretty good. Surprised that one wasn't taken before you tried to get it. Okay, so this is called a Swedish wrap. We'll get a little closer here. And this is much narrower on the bottom of this die than it is at the top. So as we push this down, it's kind of funnel shaped and it's going to shrink the size of the ring and kind of change the shape of it a little bit too. I'm just gonna put a uh, plunger on top here. I guess this is called a pusher technically. And we're just gonna push that down as far as our pusher will let us. Let's see if that's the next size down. It's always tricky with these pushers to get just the right size. I think I'm gonna switch to this littler die. That pusher's not gonna fit. That's way too big. And this one is the same size. Let's keep looking. This one might be the ticket. Thanks for following, Caroline. We got 5,500 likes on this live so far. Thank you guys very much for tapping the screen. If you'd like a shout out, just hit the follow button. I'll shout you out. You can see our ring is getting ever so slightly smaller and smaller as we send it down this die. This coin is really wanting to get wobbles in it the whole time. it out again. Take this tape off. Get a real good look at it. Thank you. I think it's pretty fun. I've been making these rings for about three years now. Started on a total whim. Just as like kind of a personal challenge to see if I can make a quarter into a ring. And I've pretty much become infatuated with it. So I do it almost every day now. It's pretty great. Uh, if you'd like to order, you can go to the link on my profile, just the website link on my profile, or the gold chain. I'll go ahead and pin it for you down here. You can shop through this uh, gold chain or this button as well. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. 
Old Doubles. Thank you for following. Thank you very much for following, Christopher. Jinky. Roger. Rogerson. Thanks for following. You too, Paul Gray. Thanks for hitting that follow button. Angel. Hitting that follow button. Thank you very much. Big Buck. 1975. Hit the follow button too. Thank you very much. Oh, Big Buck and Big Squirrel. Nice. Thanks for following, Big Squirrel. I'll dry this off real quick. And yeah, all October long, I've got a 50% off clearance sale. It's kind of a slow month for orders, so... I thought I'd really, really try and incentivize you guys to check out the website. 50% off most of my inventory. Just trying to clear out everything that didn't sell earlier this year. And uh, save you guys some money so you can get something cool. These are all handmade in America from Real Coins. And uh, there's a whole bunch of different types you can choose from. Specific years, specific states as far as quarters. Uh, I've got fine silver, 90% silver, copper clad, and I even have a gold coin ring available on my website. That's linked on my TikTok profile. You can get there by tapping my cool little logo up here and just hitting that uh, web link. And you can still hear me talk if you shop through TikTok, which is pretty cool. Dan Levine, thanks for the follow, man. This one's going to be a size 10 and a half. I may have reduced it just a little too much already. But you can see it's kind of cone shaped. Check out the website. Very nice stuff, brother. Thank you very much, Dan. I appreciate it. This is a one man business here. I never really thought I'd start a business, but I just kind of stumbled into it. And it's pretty cool. I really enjoy what I do. And I get to share it with so many people. So thanks for watching, guys. Let's see here. We've got it a little... It's, it's pretty close to a 10.5. It's a little smaller. But the reeded edge is probably right at a 10.5. What I'm going to do is stretch it out just a little bit. See if we can show you guys that. Stretch it out just a little. There we go. Now we got it up to an eleven, and we'll just reduce it back down to a ten and a half over here. Hopefully I've got the uh, the muscle to get it there. Sometimes these can be a little tricky. Thank you very much for the uh, October calendar. You didn't have to send me a gift, but you did, and I appreciate it. Thank you. So now I got a really nice looking ring shape. All this cool detail on here. Make sure our ring size is pretty close. Not quite. I'll 
up back over here and stretch it back out a little bit. Thanks. Yeah, we've got a, just about a size 10 right now. Yeah, stretched up about a half size, which isn't too bad. Not too bad at all. A lot of times I go back and forth from being too big to too small until I really lock it in at the correct size. It can be tricky. We got it at 10 and a quarter right now. A little past 10 and a quarter, okay. Take it all the way back to an 11, because I can see the, uh, the shape of it kind of shifting back to a cone. That's not exactly what I want. Where do I get this machine? Uh, this is called a ring stretcher, uh, specifically for um, stretching rings. And down here, there's a die that allows you to reduce the size of rings as well. It's just kind of a jewelry making uh, tool. And it works really well for coin rings. I like it a lot. It's much more difficult to do this if you don't have one. Uh, nope, no problems from the feds for defacing coins. As long as you don't fraudulently alter the coins or counterfeit, uh, it's not illegal. You can totally make jewelry out of them. Doing uh, simulator rings, painting helmets, bicycles, so hobby stuff too. Cool. I have a 1911 King George fifth gold sovereign which is uh, 22 millimeters. So that's a little smaller than a quarter. Uh, is there something I could do? Yeah, I could, I could work on that. Uh, I have a button on my profile. If you just go to my TikTok profile, there's a button there that says, get a quote. Uh, just tell me as much as you can about your coin and the ring size you need, and I can get a quote for you. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. No, it's a pretty common question, so don't don't feel bad. I get asked that a lot. Yeah, 5,800 likes on this live so far. Thank you guys for tapping the screen and watching me work, you know? Good time. Yeah, the only thing I would say with... Um, that gold sovereign, if it's like 22 millimeters, is I may be a little limited on how big I can make that. Uh, so with quarters, I can only go up to size 13. I would say with something that's smaller, I would probably be limited to maybe a size 10, maybe a size nine. Thanks for following uh, Tim Crocs. And clum, clum, baby. You can see it from my profile. Those are the helmets, rigs, and electric vehicles. So, yeah, ring stretcher. That's what it's called. And I'm just double second. Double checking my size on this real quick. We're right at 10 and a half, so that is perfect. The shape of the ring looks very nice. So now we're just gonna go clean it up. Bring that shine back to the silver. Well, thank you, Roxy. Uh, if anybody would like to get a coin ring made by me, a lot of my stuff is 50% off all October long. 
you can uh, find that by tapping the shop link on my profile, just the website link there, or going to cornerringmaker.com. It's my username. And uh, you can shop through there. There's also a little gold chain at the bottom of the screen. You can tap on that, check out my stuff. This is my favorite part, by the way. This is where we uh, clean it up and bring that shine back to the silver. So this thing's about to look real pretty. 6,100 likes on the live. Thank you guys very much for tapping the screen. I do appreciate it. Pneumatic, uh, numismatic art. Oh, okay. I don't know why I read it as numismatic cart. But uh, thank you for following numismatic art. I do appreciate it. Hey, that's kind of what I got going on here is uh, some numismatic art. Do you make numismatic art? You make art out of coins? Uh, 1982 would be under copper clad. Yes, ring stretcher. That's correct. Cool, man. I'm going to follow you, dude. I got to check your stuff out. I love art made out of coins. Have you ever heard of Stacy Lee Weber? You should check her out on Instagram. She makes the coolest crap out of coins. Like, unbelievable stuff. She made a chainsaw out of pennies. It's just, it's nuts. That's Stacy Lee Weber. You should check her out. She makes some freaking sweet stuff. Yeah, get it shiny. So I don't recommend doing this with uh, very harsh steel wool. This is super fine. It's like called 4-0 steel wool. And it's just rough enough to start uh, getting some of that fire scale off of there. But it's not going to leave any scratches on the surface of the ring. Nice. Metal wool is good stuff, man. I go through this like crazy. That and blue shop, shop paper towels. Very useful. That's really bringing out the details. But it's not quite as shiny as I want it. We're still going to shine this up. But we got a lot of the darkness off of there. Thanks for following Mitch Jacobs. And Carlos, I appreciate it. And we're going to hit it with a polishing cloth. And these are just regular old jewelry polishing cloths. I get these at Walmart. Uh, it's nothing super fancy, but they work really, really well. And I also like that as you use them, you get kind of this darkness on the rag itself. So you can kind of see all the stuff you remove from the coin. I don't know, I think it's neat. You can see the progress on the ring and on the polishing cloth. Thank you very much. Again, if you guys would like to get a coin ring from me, coinringmaker.com. I'm here on TikTok making orders pretty much as they come in every day. Yeah, I think my wife's aunt's really gonna like this. We. Um, well, we're going to give this to her uh, for a birthday present today. I think she'll like it. Yeah, silver shines up really nicely. Go to websites and get stuff. Look at that. So as far as ring stretchers, there's like two classes of them. There's, uh, I don't know, this blue one. You'll see the blue frame. It stands out pretty clearly. But these are either made in China or India. They range from, I don't know, 100 to like $119. And then there's ones like this one. This is a name brand ring stretcher. This is a Pepe Tools. And these are like $700. And these are built better, but... This is the one I started using. It's the one I'm used to. And, uh, I mean, I use both of them. 
Uh, one main benefit with this one is it's much smaller at the top, so I can do like dimes and pennies on it, whereas they just wouldn't fit on top of this one. Uh, where do you buy steel wool? Any hardware store will have it. It comes in little packs like this. Uh, it's usually more full. Like there's, <laughs> I go through this stuff pretty quickly. Uh, but what you're going to want to look for is either 4-0 or 3-0. I usually get 4-0. I guess I got 3-0 this time. But really, really fine. You can see on the fineness scale down here, you want to stay on this end. Because stuff over here will scratch up. Uh, they should have it at Walmart. I, I usually go to a hardware store. But they should have some at Walmart. Yeah, I look for four zero. I guess I got three zero that time. But I really don't want it to like leave scratches or mess up the detail of the coin. How much do the rings cost? This one right here is a ninety percent silver half dollar. Uh, usually these are a hundred and fifty, but for October I'm pretty sure I've got these half off along with many other rings. Uh, if you'd like me if you'd like to send me a coin to work on, I need to know a little bit more about the coin uh, before I can give you a quote. There's a button on my TikTok profile that says get a quote. Just go there, tell me about um, the coin you want me to work on and the ring size you need and we can work from there. Sounds good, man. 1966 silver half dollar. Um, they stopped making silver half dollars in 64. So that might be a little tricky. I could do a copper clad one, but I don't know if we could find a silver one. Came out really nice. This is gorgeous. Try and get some better shot of it here 65 70 or 40 percent silver ah oh, see i don't mess with 40 percent silver i've never tried it i suppose i could give it a shot thanks for dropping the coin facts guys i appreciate it uh what's the biggest size coin ring i can make the biggest one i've made to date was a size 20 um uh, pretty much anything over a uh, size 16, uh, I have to use a one ounce round for. So 16 is my cap for half dollars. And I think 18 is my cap for uh, Morgan and Peace dollars. And then with one ounce rounds, I really have a pretty decent range on what I can, uh, what I can do with those. Try and get this to focus, come on. I think I'll have to set something under it. Cameras are stupid. There we go. Lovely. Um, shipping to Finland? I'm really not sure. Um, what I can tell you is I ship in 4x7 uh, like padded envelopes. So they aren't very big and they don't weigh very much. Um, but I, that's that's a really hard thing for me to estimate. Uh, you should be able to go on the website and do like a practice run of a checkout, and it, it should tell you how much the shipping will be. Uh, millimeter width. I think it would be less than $50. But again, I am just guessing. And normally my shipping in the States is 4 bucks. So that is about eight and a half for the half dollar. Uh, as coins get bigger or smaller than this, the width of the band changes. So quarters are going to have a thinner band. Uh, Morgan dollars are going to have a thicker band. And one ounce rounds are going to have the thickest band I, I make. But this one is about eight and a half millimeters. And that's a half dollar. All right. That came out really nice. Um, I'm going to hang out for just a minute, see if you guys have any questions. My phone's at like 8%, so I can't hang out too long. 
But if you have any questions or anything nice you'd like to say, go ahead and put it in the uh, chat right now. If you haven't hit the follow button yet, go ahead and give me a follow if you want to see more of my work in the future. I really enjoy making jewelry here on TikTok, and if that's something you'd like to see, like I said, hit that follow button. Uh, thanks for following. Keep knocking. And uh, if you have a question, you know, now's your time. Put it down in the chat. I'll take one final real good look at this. I really like how In God We Trust goes over the date. Very nice. Yeah, these are these are fantastic rings. And just to show you kind of a contrast, this is the one I'm currently wearing. This is a Walking Liberty half dollar. This one's from 1944. You can see the band thickness is a little bit uh, thicker than that 8.5 because this is a 10.5 and, and this is a 9.5. So as the ring stretches to larger sizes, the band thickness uh, goes down. But... It's barely perceivable. They're very similar in thickness. Thanks. About to go live. Showing your talent. Yeah. Were you? Not. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. 50% uh, off lots of stuff. Nice. Yeah, dude, 90% is so, so good at keeping that, that silver luster on there. I really like it. Great inside details. Looking good. You think she'll like her, uh, her birthday present, guys? I think she will. It's kind of funny. Uh, she saw my wife wearing one. And this one actually looks nicer than the one I made my wife. So I think my wife's going to be a little jealous. She's, <laughs> she's going to want this one. Oh, dropping the footballs and the TikToks. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. Um, check out my website, coinringmaker.com. I don't do any patina. I prefer to make my rings as shiny as possible. Uh, I know some other coin ring makers like to put patina on there or the uh, antiquing uh, like that. Oh, you can see me in the <laughs> in the ring. <laughs> yeah, but I uh, just a personal taste. I like to make my rings as shiny as possible for a couple of customers who were really insistent about having antiquing done. I, I had no problem doing it, um, but as as just kind of a brand thing. Uh, I like to make them really nice and shiny. I think they look good. Shiny. <laughs> Thanks for following Debbie and Freddie. I do appreciate it. All right, guys. I'm going to hop off here. Uh, Y'all go check out the go check out the sale. 50% off. Tons of coin rings. It's all handmade here in the United States. And there's lots of cool stuff to choose from. Uh, Thanks again for watching. And we'll catch you next time. All right? Bye.